Being on the road as opposed to songwriting is completely different. I mean, because it's not, you're not really creating when you're on the stage. You know, you're entertaining, you're trying to, you know, give people that emotional reaction that they came to a live show for. And also that tangible, you know, like we make sure we go out and, and shake people's hands. Writing a song is the creative process. It's, com you know, it's completely different. You're sitting down, you're trying to be patient, you're trying to think of all the things that, that you love about being alive or, or all the things you hate about whatever relationship you're in, whatever, you know what I mean? What, what do I like better? I, it's hard to say because when I'm in the studio for a week creating songs, I'm tired of creating songs. When I'm on the road for a month, you know, I'm ready to get home. I mainly write lyrics in, early in the morning in a hotel room. And I have to be by myself. Oh, yeah. My reflection. A window, window, in a ride for Chicago. She is on the other side. So that's sort of like the main process. I write my best lyrics by myself in the morning in a hotel room. I'm just, I feel fresh, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, and I write mainly, I write the music while I'm on tour, just every day playing a new song like I did in Soundcheck today. That's just a new one that doesn't really have a direction, but you know, you let them sort of marinate and blossom. The songs I write on the road are not really any different than the songs I write at home because, you know, I mean, it's just an extension of home anyway. Like, my tour bus is sort of almost like, you know, like a wing of my house, you know, in California. <laughs> It's mainly mood that drives what kind of songs I write. And it's mainly like, you know, if I get into an argument or something like that, I'm going to write a song about it. Uh, like, I just recently got married and I wrote this whole album, this recent album called Special Company. It's mainly about preparing for this big day of commitment. I needed sort of my, my own little self-induced therapy and it was free because I could just write the song about it. And, um, and that's pretty much how this album came about. It's very autobiographical. Everything I've ever done has been autobiographical, so. I would say the worst thing that's ever happened to me is uh, Minneapolis, about a year ago, we had a, a really bad bus accident and our, our driver hit a patch of black ice and just lost control of the bus and just started flipping, man. And you're like, you're just like a human dryer, you know what I mean? Just getting thrown around in this thing. and. Um, we like to think like the, really the only reason we survived is because we were asleep in our bunks. And when it happened, you know, we woke up when, when, you, when you start feeling like, you know, you're a little off, off kilter. Uh, when I woke up, it just started slamming the ground. And, and um, I guess when it stopped, luckily my tour manager had his phone and he could like, he checked us with this little phone light, made sure we were okay. And, and um, the fire department cut us out of the middle of the bus and then took us to the hospital. And, um, all I had, I had like, I had like five or six staples on my head where they like just fixed a gash and, uh, we got on a plane the very next day and made the next gig, you know, like completely bruised up. I could barely walk, you know, you're like, we looked like, like we were about 95 years old trying to like pull our bags to the airport. But, you know, the show must go on, man, always. <laughs> this is what we do for a living. The last song I'm going to play for you is a song off the second record, and this one's called Only You. Um, yeah. Only you know what is on my mind. And I actually started this song in Australia, and I came back uh, to the States after my Australian tour, and I finished it up with a bunch of friends of mine. And, uh, and it, this became my, uh, the second song that we've ever put out as a single that actually became a big hit. So here we go. We're going to give you this one right now.